Structured water? More like structured marketing hype. Companies know that promising health benefits is a powerful sales tool. Unfortunately, the water quality industry can be riddled with misleading claims. And manufacturers capitalize on our natural concern about water contaminants, which are a real issue. But I've got major concerns about how some of these structured water products are being marketed. So you may have heard of structured water, which is also known as hexagonal water, magnetized water, gel water, cluster water, and H3O2. This is water that's supposedly been altered to form a hexagonal molecular structure. According to proponents, Natural structured water is typically found in pristine sources like mountain streams and glaciers. But there's a growing market for products claiming to transform ordinary tap water into structured water through processes like using a process called vortexing to magnetize it, exposing it to sunlight, or another source of natural heat and energy, treating it with infrared or UV light, and storing it in water bottles containing gemstones. So what exactly are the promised benefits of structured water? Let's look at some of the actual claims these companies selling H3O2 structured water products are making. Here's one called the Vitalizer Plus, which boldly declares itself a hexagonal oxygen water maker and supposedly turns normal water into a life-enhancing, hexagonally structured water your body craves. According to the manufacturer, this device transforms ordinary water into a life-enhancing elixir that hydrates cells, which, side note, is something that normal water does anyway, helps transport nutrients and enhance waste removal from the cells, boosts the immune system, and magically balance the organs of your body within minutes after drinking. Wow, I mean, if you take it at face value, why would you not be impressed by this? Now check out the Hexalife Magnetic Water Coaster, which helps you to harness the power of rare earth magnets for magnetic energy therapy. They also claim that you will experience enhanced hydration, digestion, and combat aging and fatigue. We're literally being told here that this product will transform your water into an anti-aging potion that will work miracles on your whole body. It goes on to say it aids in circulatory system rhythm, boosts hair and skin health, facilitates mineral absorption, and strengthens the immune system. And the Mayu Swirl Structured Water Pitcher promises faster cell absorption and can improve metabolism control, boost energy and performance, and support healthy nerves and muscles. It's important to note that these are not isolated instances. Manufacturers across the board attribute a wide range of health benefits to structured water, from enhanced hydration and nutrient absorption to immune system support and anti-aging effects, the purported list of advantages is endless. So while proponents of structured water often cite scientific studies backing up their claims, a closer look reveals a consistent pattern of limited evidence and significant methodological shortcomings. Let's look at a few examples. This 2021 review in the National Library of Medicine concluded that drinking magnetized water had health benefits according to a consistent proof from animal experiments, but added that more research is needed for us to understand how these effects occur and whether structured water is safe to drink in the long term. There's also a potential conflict of interest here because the author of the study works for the Nutraceutical Alliance, was contracted by a company that actually sells structured water, Defiance Brands Incorporated. In this 2012 study in Geriatrics and Gerontology International, scientists fed alkaline-reduced hexagonal water to a fruit fly genus known as Cephala to determine whether the water could delay the aging process. But the structured water was found to have no effect on the aging process of the male or female flies. The study concluded that hexagonal water has no impact on the aging process, or at least not for the Drosophila fly genus. Again, more research is needed. This 2020 study in veterinary science research compared the health and hydration of two groups of racehorses, one that consumed just normal water and one that consumed around 10 liters of structured water within their daily water intake. The study concluded that horses drinking structured water showed increased hydration, improved upper airway health post-breezing, and increased heart rate variability. However, this small-scale study had a short four-week duration, and the horses that saw improvements only received about 15% of their daily water intake as structured water, so it's difficult to draw definitive conclusions. And this review of structured water in the International Journal of Agricultural Sciences says that structured water is still in this progression and needs more scientific inquiry. While still moving slowly in academic research, structured water is already breaking through on the commercial level. Now, this is really important to highlight because it essentially means that there are companies out there creating and selling structured water products 
without sound scientific proof that they actually work. So these are all animal studies, and I was really only able to find one human study that specifically looked at the health benefits of drinking H3O2. This 2019 study analyzed the role of structured water in controlling blood glucose levels in human patients with type 2 diabetes. The patients who were given nanotechnology structured water saw decreased blood sugar levels within three months compared to those who drank ordinary bottled water. This is a promising study, but surprise, surprise, it had limitations. Only a small number of patients were studied, and the scientists did not conduct a long-term follow-up. And aside from that, I couldn't find any other legitimate human health studies on the long-term benefits of structured water consumption. So much of the enthusiasm for structured water can be traced back to Korean chemist Dr. Moo Shik John's 2004 book, The Water Puzzle and the Hexagonal Key. Dr. John posits that drinking hexagonal water can increase vitality, slow aging, and prevent disease. He insists this is because structured or hexagonal water can improve cell water turnover, which helps to improve metabolism, waste removal, nutrient absorption, and so on. He also discusses how hexagonal water prevents illness and enhances the immune system. However, it's essential to note that this book is not a peer-reviewed scientific study. Another prominent figure in the structured water discourse is Gerald Polak, a bioengineer who's leading research on structured water today and has shared many of his findings in his 2013 popular science book, The Fourth Phase of Water. Polak theorizes that structured water exists around and inside living cells as the water molecules form hexagonal clusters. He argues that modern water treatment and added chemicals, as well as stagnant water storage destructures the water before we drink it. While his research on water's structure is intriguing, the scientific community has yet to def definitively confirm the existence of structured water clusters or understand their properties. In fact, recent studies have cast doubt on the very concept of structured water. A 2020 review in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences highlights the speculative nature of Polak's work and reminds us it's not peer-reviewed and not a scientific monograph, and notes that even Polak admits the idea of a layered structure is speculative. The review also references some follow-up studies that seem to prove that structured water cannot actually exist. In one referenced case, a scientist noted problems with hexagonal water structures in general, noting that the high energy cost of placing hydrogens between oxygens was enough to make such structures explode if they were ever created. More recently, scientists performed quantum chemistry calculations showing such structure to be unstable. And another review in the journal Chemical Thermodynamics and Thermal Analysis notes that Polak's group has conducted experiments that appear to support the structured water hypothesis, but adds that very few of these results have been verified by independent experiments. So the main arguments against the legitimacy of structured water are that it supposedly holds a unique hexagonal shape, but given that water molecules are in constant motion, they can't hold a structure because the structure is constantly changing. And the chemical composition of structured water, often claimed to be H3O2, contradicts our established understanding of water as H2O. This discrepancy alone raises significant doubts about the validity of the claims. The scientific consensus is that the claims surrounding structured water lack credible evidence. While intriguing, the current understanding does not support the extraordinary benefits attributed to H3O2. What's clear here is that more peer-reviewed research is needed before definitive conclusions about hexagonal water, its structure, and its properties can be drawn. Rather than getting caught up in the next fad, your time and energy could be better spent in addressing known water quality issues rather than investing in products with unproven benefits. For example, I think it would be more beneficial to prioritize removing potentially dangerous contaminants and impurities from your drinking water. Remember that hydration is the primary function of water, so don't be swayed by marketing hype promising exceptional results. Your health deserves more than unsubstantiated claims, and by making informed choices about your water, you're taking a proactive step towards protecting yourself and your family. So stick around and watch the next video to learn how to ensure clean, healthy water at home. Click or tap to keep watching.